What's up, YouTube? I'm here at the Yojo Outlet headquarters in Cincinnati, Ohio. And we have a bit of a dilemma here. We recently got in a bunch of 12-inch G.I. Joe accessory packs from 1990. And we had both of these listed, and one of them was listed as a uh, yellowed bubble, and then one was obviously listed in, in nicer condition. Um, and you obviously can clearly see they have different card backs, but everything inside is the same. So a, a buyer, potential buyer, messaged us and asked if this is just the bubble that is yellow or if, in fact, the weapons were yellowed. And at first I thought, oh, it's just the bubble, right? The sun had damaged that. But then the more I thought about it, the more I looked at it, I thought, you know what? I don't know. I don't, I don't know if we can, with 100% certainty, guarantee one of our customers that this... A uh, pack of accessories is going to be white like this is. Um, and so I'm, I'm thinking that these are also this color. The actual accessories, not the bubble. So we took the listing down. Uh, and there's only one way to find out whether the truth is that the items are yellowed or if it's just the bubble and that's to open it. So thankfully there is somebody, me, who works for Yojo Outlet who has a YouTube channel uh, in which I open vintage toys and that's exactly what I'm going to do here is open this one and see whether it's something we can sell or if it really is damaged then we're just going to have to uh, put it in our sort of a we have kind of a, a box of items that are either damaged or broken or discolored or chewed or whatever that uh, we then just kind of lot out for really cheap. So here we go and let's see. Look at that. It was just the bubble. So I was pretty convinced that these items were actually yellowed but as you can see I mean, that boot is just as white as that boot there. So um, now we will just have to list all of these loose, which is no big deal. People, you know, people will buy them. They, I don't know if they'll buy the entire set, but we certainly can list all of these individually. Here's some instructions about how to clothe your G.I. Joe guy, here's some mittens that have some glue residue, some snow pants, the snow boots, the gun. Some more tape that's 26 years old. So this is a little discolored, but you can kind of see I, that's kind of how it looks on there. So I think that's just the, the nature of that plastic. And so these missiles, you know, these missiles look very similar to a lot of the other uh, G.I. Joe missiles from around that time, but they are unique to the Hall of Fame. Let's see. Still shoots. Um, so I have this right here. I was trying to find something to to put these clothes on. This is not a G.I. Joe. This is actually from the Action Man line. But let's say he's going to the Arctic and he is going to be very cold. So he needs his snow jacket. This is also something you can buy in the Yojo Outlet store. So shameless plug. Search for Yo, Joe Outlet on eBay. We have more than 14,000 unique items for sale. Including 12-inch G.I. Joe Hall of Fame accessories. Uh, I wasn't thinking he's got this sort of blow-dark gun uh, molded into his hand. but So he's got a jacket. He can put on these, these snow boots. There's This isn't going to work. I should have found a 12-inch Joe, but... I don't know if we have any that are naked. I think all of ours have stuff on them. And I didn't want to waste too much time having you watch me play with dolls because that's not that's not always fun. But again, I'm I'm a little amazed that these actually are in pretty nice shape. Let's see how these I guess the boots probably just kind of click on there. You wouldn't have the oh no, here they are. Here are the bindings. So they got some bindings. I guess I should look at the instructions. Oh well. So, um, you know, this, I was never big into the, the 12 inch stuff. Um, obviously, they were trying to hit that nostalgia mark. Cause you think, so these came out in 93. So it's like 30th anniversary of the original G.I. Joe. 
um, which is something like my dad would have been into. So, you know, presumably if he was a, a man child, which I don't think many men in the mid nineties were man children like we are today. And I'm, I'm not criticizing. I'm right there in the man child care category. Um, you know, they would have had some of that nostalgia and, you know, maybe bought this stuff for their kids to say, Oh, I had this when I was a kid too. So that, I think that's kind of the, the market there is you don't have too many adult collectors back then, but, uh, the idea is that, you know, that basic training grunt, you know, these people, and obviously, you know, we got Snake Eyes, we have Duke, we have Cobra Commander Stalker, so the kids recognize those. I think I might have had that. It might have been my brother who had a couple of these, and I wasn't into the 12-inch scale at all. Three and three-quarter inch, still am. I have n no interest in the, in the bigger ones, but, um, you know, I guess if you want to dress yours up in Arctic gear or SWAT gear or any other types of gear, you could certainly, um, certainly do that. So it is, it's kind of like, you know, Barbie dolls for... Uh, for boys, I guess, which, um, you know, nothing wrong with that. That's, that's totally cool. So, but, um, you, I don't think it was very popular because you find this stuff all the time and we have a whole bunch. If you, so if you are inclined to buy some, that's totally cool. But, um, we do on occasion, we'll sell like a, 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 a knife, a gun, uh, watches. We've actually sold some of the watches, goggles. Um, I think a lot of times people want to complete these the actual kind of a real American hero, GI Joe, uh, character. So, uh, so yeah, so this is the GI Joe. Hall of Fame, Mission Gear, Arctic Assault Mission Gear. And uh, lo and behold, it was just the bubble that was yellowed, not the actual accessories, which is pretty amazing because the sun does, in fact, bleach and discolor and yellow things like this. But, you know, maybe this has some pretty good UV protection, apparently. So, uh, so thanks for watching, and uh, as, as always, open your toys and play with them.